Custom Programming. We're going to use Visual Studio 2010 Pro to make a custom workflow that answers phone calls. Go to Media, DVD Drive, Insert Disk and find the Visual Studio 2010 Media. Click Open. It will autoplay. Install Visual Studio. Click Next. Accept the terms. Click Next. Install. This install takes about 20 minutes. Just let it run. Once it completes, click Finish. Click Exit. Now we need to install the UCMA SDK. The link to that is in the text documentation. Click Run. Click Install. Accept. And OK. OK. The install completes pretty quickly. Click Exit. There's also an OCS SDK. It's not mandatory, but it has some samples in it that might be helpful. I'm going to skip that. I'm pulling up Visual Studio 2010. I'm going to do the project in Visual Basic. Say Start Visual Studio. New Project. Communications Workflow. Set it to .NET 3.5. We're going to do an inbound one. We're naming it Inbound. Click OK. Click English and OK. Pull up Program.VB. Scroll down to the initialize routine and see get local certificate. On the line we want vserve3.macroconnect.local and uppercase macroconnect where this represents the domain name. This ties to the certification authority that sits on vserve1. The debug here we want to make sure that as we step through this certificate process we hit this line if it doesn't, you want to debug and figure out exactly why. With the default options, when you step through, you're going to find that there's an error here. This line needs to get changed to dot simple name. So I'm going to scroll down and put a debug. We got it. We're going to hit play and then step into it. And we walk through each step. You see that issued to matches that name, that's good. So it pulled that from one of the certificates on the machine. And it returned the certificate, so we're all set. I'm going to hit stop here. We need to scroll down. When we get to platform settings, we want to scroll over and change these to something other than 5060 because it's already being used. So we're going to 5059. Scroll back. I'll scroll down to this section. Set the application URI to SIP colon inbound at macroconnect.co. We're going to create that user in a moment. We're going to change this to vserve3.macroconnect.local. Now we're going to dsa.msc to make the user. Right click and do new user. Populate the information. Hit next. Give it a password. Uncheck must change. Say password never expires and click next and finish. Pull up the link control panel, log in, users, enable users, add, find, inbound, pool, specify a SIP URI, enable enterprise voice, and click enable. Minimize that, minimize that, uncheck the breakpoint here, go to workflow one, expand the toolbox and drag a speech statement over to right here. Click on speech statement and main prompt. Type in welcome to macro connect. At this point we're ready to go hit play. All three of these should load ready and then we're ready to call it. So if I pull up link and dial 821 and click dial we get connected and the text is read to us. Closing that. Hit enter to stop. Now we're gonna set it as a Windows service. Right click and go to properties. Windows service. Save. Close this. Copy two new routines from the install guide. Overwrite the main routine from the install guide. Add initialize to on start. Add cleanup to on stop. Add the following text from the install guide. Click save all. Click debug. Click OK. Go to the command line. Run the command from the install guide and start the service. 